hi everybody it's me again I'm back with you back at you with a tutorial um, I received a PM regarding my uh, lotion making video the video that wasn't a tutorial but I was making a um, um, lotion for a customer sorry got distracted for a brief second there um, so I was asked about um, sharing my recipe now I'm, I'm not going to share that particular recipe but I'm going to share um, a basic recipe that you can follow. Um, what you would want to do is start with, um, or if you if you follow the blog, there's a not a blog a well there's a blog Swift Craft Swift Monkey Craft or Swift Craft Monkey something like that. That's a great um, blog to follow in regards to lotion making. But there's a forum, that's what I'm looking for, um, for soaps and lotions. Um, there is a basic, well, there's tons of basic lotion recipes on there, but there is a basic ratio where it would be 7% of an, any oil of your choice, another 7% of another oil of your choice, and 6% of either a soft oil or a hard oil or butter. Um, and then... There is 71% water, 1% preservative, 3% fragrance oil, and 5% emulsifying wax. That is a base that what you can start with. So I'll go over it again. So 7% of a soft oil, one soft oil, 7% of a second soft oil, 6% of either a soft oil or a hard oil or butter, like um, cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, something like that. Um, 71% water, 5% emulsifying wax, 1% preservative, and 3% um, fragrance oil. So as far as the oils section, you can divvy up the oils however you want. So that uh, works out to be 20%. So you can divvy that 20% any way you want. I have created a recipe that I'm going to try out for um, just for my face. I'm going to put a fragrance oil, although I'm hesitant to because usually fragrance oils dry out my skin a little bit, but um, I wanted to try this fragrance oil, so um, I figured I'd put it in there. So this recipe I will include in the comment bar below, and um, that base or starting point for a lotion recipe I will include below as well. Um, keep in mind that... Um, I'm not saying this recipe is going to work because I haven't tried it, but um, this is kind of a variation or expansion on that base starting recipe that I gave you. So um, for my recipe that I'm doing today, I'm going to be doing 6% grapeseed oil, 7% sunflower oil, 5.9% sweet almond oil, 5% um, emulsifying wax, 2% stearic acid, 69% water, 1% preservative, 1% fragrance oil, 1% cyclomethicone, 1% dimethicone, 0.1% vitamin E oil, and 1% silk amino acid. I just, as we are starting this video, realized I forgot my container to put the lotion in, so I'm going to pause the video and while I go grab that, and just I'm going to sterilize it with some more alcohol. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's late at night, and I'm kind of trying to do this on the fly. All right, so I'm going to start by measuring out my water. And normally you would put this on the stove to boil, but I'm going to be putting this into the um, microwave to warm. So I'm doing just four ounces, because really I'm just trying this recipe out. So that is going to equate to 2.76 ounces of water. Now, I usually add a little bit more because I know some water is going to evaporate when I, oops, that's too much, when I heat it up in the microwave or when I boil it. And then I'll remeasure it after. So let's go put this in the microwave. Okay. 
So now for my oils, you're gonna heat your oils up too. I'm gonna to be using 0.24 ounces of grapeseed oil. Point two, depending on what your scale measures. Oops, it's a little bit tiny bit too much. Point two eight ounces of sunflower oil. Of sweet almond oil. going to add your emulsifying wax and stearic acid into this. So I'm going to need 0.2 ounces of emulsifying wax. Now I use polar wax. My bag had broken here in the corner. Okay, I'm say 0.2. of stearic acid and I have the triple pressed stearic acid and this is 0 0.08 or 0 0.1 This is a very small batch that I'm doing here. I think I'm getting tired, guys. So I'm going to re-weigh out my oils into this container here. And, um, sorry, my water, not my oils. And that was 2.76. Now this is where you can use things like aloe, goat's milk, all those things. There we go. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for my oils to melt, Most uh, stair grass is very hard, so it takes a while to uh, think. I'm going to add in here my cyclomethicone, my dimethicone, um, my vitamin E, and my silk amino acid. 
So I need 0 0.04 cyclomethacin. No, that's not it. This one's it. So this is going to be a tiny amount. So it's going to go 0 0.1 because I can't really measure 0.4 on my scale. Or actually, I can do 0.5. There we go. And then, as well, 0 0.04 of dimethicone. I'm going to add my silk amino acid as the same. This is very dark. Or my preservative as well, which is going to be the same. I use Optifin. The reason why I'm measuring these all together is because I'm going to be adding this at the cool down phase. There we go. Perfect. And then my vitamin E and my fragrance oil is going to go in there. Okay, this is all melted. I have no space, guys. Put this over to the side for a minute there. And I'm going to do my vitamin E. I want to do like five tablets. Two, four, five, because I don't remember. I don't have vitamin E. Sorry, I had to reach over, guys. Because this doesn't really equate to anything when you, at the measurement, because I did 0.1%. So, this is really a makeup amount for myself here. And then my fragrance oil, which is here, I'm using musk, and I'm supposed to use 0 0.04 as well. Mmm, smells good. I want to try this in soap. Oh, there we go. pause for a minute. Sorry about that guys, I'm back. Okay, so um, last time I did the recipe, I added my water to my oils. This time I'm going to add my oils to my water. And that's because I don't want it as a oily of a feeling. And I've also have more water in this recipe because I want a lighter lotion and I have less citric acid because I don't want it as thick. This is something I want to add to my face. 
All right. So this should cool down pretty quickly because it's not much in here. All right. I'm just going to stick blend it. That's all. Look how white it's already turned. And this is whiter than my other lotion because of the olive oil is quite yellow. And I use lighter color oils this time. Or sorry, my olive oil is quite green, I should say. So it makes it look yellow. And you just blend this and you let it cool down before you add the other ingredients that I have there. Because if it's too hot, it's going to kill your, um, your preservative and then you won't be preserving anything. You should really be boiling your oils for at least 15 minutes, in all honesty. And I tend to do that more so with... Um, or heat your oils for 15 minutes to kill off any bacteria. Same thing with your water. I tend to do that more so for um, when I'm doing bigger batches and um, clients. But in this case, it's, this is a tiny, tiny batch just for myself. So I'm not too concerned right now. If it goes bad, I throw it out. Um, it's just me and it's an experiment. Um, but not for my clients. Which I, she ordered some more. Um, I'm just waiting for her to finalize exactly what scent she wants. And I'll be doing that again um, this week or whenever she gets back to me. I'm going to go more for touch because it's not a whole lot. So I'm just going to go by feel how cool it is. It's still kind of warm, so we'll keep going. That's really it, guys. Um, I will look more into um, how long you should be doing your oils for what temperatures and such such and such for you and I'll put in the description box below. Um, this is just me making this fast at 12 o'clock at night and I still gotta work on my other soap because um, my embeds just aren't working out for me so I've got to redo them because um, I really want to finish this soap tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I haven't uploaded the video yet, so you probably just really won't see, but this is a sneak, pre sneak peek. This is um, the bar. It's darkened up quite a bit from this morning. It was um, yellow this morning, the base color. Um, and now it's very hard already because I used the sodium lactate. And uh, now it's a very dark caramel color. And I know it's going to get to a very deep, dark chocolate color. It's almost there. It's still quite um, runny, but it will thicken up as it cools. It's almost cool. Enough. Almost cool enough now to add the other ingredients, but I'll just keep going. Some oils that you can use are um, Depending on what your application is for, but you can use olive oil, you can use cottonseed oil, metal foam oil, um, I use sweet almond, you can use safflower oil, rice bran oil is supposed to be really good, um, coconut oil if you want, cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter. There's um, a whole list 
of oils that you can use. Just read the benefits of what they're good for and what application you want to use it. And then incorporate that into your recipe based on how much you want of it, that particular oil in your full recipe. Um, the more water you add, the lighter the lotion is. The less water you add, the thicker the lotion is or the more steric acid you add. Sometimes you can use glycerin as well, which is your humectant, which draws moisture to your skin. Um, or you can use sodium lactate. Now, I thought about doing that for this recipe, but I didn't really want to complicate it too much. Um, so I did complicate it by adding, like, you know, uh, cyclomethicone and dimethicone. Um, you don't have to use that. You can use, um, some people use cornstarch. And there is something called, which I've never used it. Oh my gosh, what's the name of it? I forget, but it's, um, I think it's Natrosorb, meat Natrosorb or something like that you can add. Um, you can use isopropyl, isopropyl mysterate as well. That helps cut down on the greasiness of the um, oils. This is cool enough now. There's tons of things that you can add, but this is kind of my options for now. All right, so I'm going to add these quick thing here because it's cool enough now this mess smells nice I'm gonna make it into a soap I want to test it though because I have a feeling it's gonna trace fast I don't know why maybe because it's kind of perfumey and I didn't as you can see I use a tiny bit you can use um, based on your your fragrance oil supplier check how much you can actually use um, usually it's between three and five percent you can use in a, in a lotion oops a container okay I can turn that the other way around now it's dry all right so I'm just gonna blend these in oops mm, smells good now that um, silk amino acid just darken the white color a little bit but not by much it's already thickening a little bit here I see some thicker pieces Oops. Splash. all right I'm gonna pour this now so it's easier to pour when it's a little bit more liquidy. I'm going to take a little bit of the thicker part off. I don't know if you can see. Oh, that feels kind of nice. It's nice and light. All right, and I'm going to pour this in. I don't think I need a funnel. Still quite liquidy, but like I said, as it cools down, it will thicken. Oops. Yeah, I know this uh, container wasn't quite a four ounce container. It's a little bit smaller. I was going to use my four ounce bottles, but this was just a travel pack that you get when you're traveling abroad. All right, still kind of warm. So that will thicken up, but that is my lotion. And I have probably about an ounce left because this is... Um, much um, smaller than a four ounce jar but let me see if I can grab some off the side so you guys can see the thickness can you guys see that thickness here at the end of my spatula that's it there and once again I'll rub it in can you see that And this is a very light lotion. This is too much for that area that I tried to rub it in. It's very nice and light. And I'm rubbing it in with the glove so I can't really tell how greasy it is. Let me take off the glove. It's just a teeny, teeny bit. Not really, actually, but it soaks in very well. I wouldn't really call it greasy. 
and this is before it actually um, cools down all the way. And this is different than my personal recipe that I use for my clients or my customers. It's not the same thing, not even the same oils. Not actually, not one of these oils are <laughs> the oils that I use. I use completely different oils. But I hope that helps you. Um, I didn't want to say your YouTube name. Well, I don't know if you want me to put it out there, but you know who you are. Um, this is a basic recipe. I'll go over the recipe again for you. The one that I did in this video is 6% grapeseed oil, 7% sunflower oil, 5.9% sweet almond oil, 5% emulsifying wax, 2% stearic acid, 69% water, 1% preservative, 1% fragrance oil, 1% cyclomethicone, 1% dimethicone, 0.1% vitamin E oil, and 1% silk amino acid. Actually, that smells really nice. Sorry guys, um, but if you want to use the base recipe, this was me kind of playing around with it a little bit, but if you want to use a base um, recipe to start with, then you would use 7% of a soft oil, 7% of another soft oil, 6% um, of either a soft or a hard oil, 5% uh, emulsifying wax, 71% water, 1% preservative, 3% fragrance oil, and 3% fragrance oil. Um, but you can play around with those numbers how you will, depending on what you want your lotion to do. This actually, um, if you guys can see, oops, my skin is not oily at all. Um, it seeps into the skin quite nicely. It rubs in very easily. My hand is not greasy at all. It's just well moisturized. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me um, or leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them where I can or I'll direct you to some links where you can um, get more information. And I will actually include some of those links down below. I kind of like this. I don't know if I would want the fragrance on my face, but... I like it. Anyways, till next time, guys. Happy soaping.